Hi everyone, thank you all so much for joining us today. So today we are first going to begin with prayer requests, and if you have any prayer requests, please put them down in the comment section down below. And first I'm going to start by sharing some prayer requests I have. I also got some people sent me. Um, for my friend who wants to get back to church, and my friend who's been having seizures, and my friend who wants to start a Sabbath club, and someone asking for healing and strength, and Hillary Glover, and her family for miracles, and also for our Peace Heaven Club because we have a situation that's been going on where someone wants to try and stop our Peace Heaven Club. So let's pray that that doesn't happen. And now, let's start off with prayer. Jesus, I pray right now for my friend who wants to get back in church. Make her have a burden for her to get back into church and come to you more, Jesus. Pray right now for my friend who has seizures, who has seizures to go away. Pray for a miracle in her life. Pray that this person asks for healing and strength for a miracle in this person's life right now. I pray for my friend who wants to start P7 Club for her to start that P7 Club. And I pray for the P7 Club here in Whitehurst right now that that person will stop wanting to stop our P7 Club, that their child come to this P7 Club. And experience God and I pray right now that you dispatch your angels around this peace heaven club in Jesus name in Jesus name I would say amen now I have a small announcement um this next week we'll be meeting for peace heaven club in room 214 not 218 so I hope to see you guys there and if you have a hard time finding you can go ahead and call me now we're going on to the next two chapters of Jesus is Calling, which I think this is a very important book because reading this myself, I have learned a lot, so I just wanted to share this with you guys because I feel like you guys will also learn a lot from me reading this to you. Also, if you want to get this book, you can also get it online somewhere, I think. Now I'm going to be in the game. You can achieve the victorious life through living in deep, Desperation on me. People usually assume victory with success, not failing or stumbling, not making mistakes, but those who are success successful in their own strength tend to go their own way. Forgetting about me, it is through problems and failure, weakness and neediness, you learn to rely on me. To death, true. Desperation is not simple. Ask me to bless what you have decided to do. It is coming to me with an open mind and an open heart. Inviting me to plant my desires within you. I may enforce within you a dream that seems far behind your reach. You know that in yourself you know that you you can't do it yourself. Thus bringing your journey of prosper righteousness on me. It is a faith walk, taken one step at a time, leaning on me as much as you need. This is not a path of continual success, but multiple failures. However, each failure is followed by growth, and this by increased repentance on me. Enjoy the blessed of a victorious life through depending your dependence on me. And that is from Psalms 34, 17 through 18, and 2, and 2 Corinthians 5, 7, and that is in the New King James Version, if you want to look that up in your Bible. Uh, now I'm going on to the next part. I am able to do far beyond all that you ask or can even imagine. Come to me with a pro positive experience knowing that there is no limit to what I can accomplish. Ask my spirit to control your mind so that you can think great thoughts of me. Do not be discouraged by the fact that meh, many of your prayers are not yet answered. Time is a trainer, teaching you to wait upon me, to trust in me in the dark. The more experience your circumstances, the more likely you are to see my power and glory at work in situations. Instead of letting me Decide, draw you into worry. Try to view them as setting the scene for the glorious inviter. Keep your eyes and your mind wide open. 
to all I am doing in your life. And that's from Ephesians 3, 20 through 21, Romans 8, 6, Isaiah 40, 30 through 31, and that's all in the New King James Version. And last scripture is Revelation 5, 13. And next time we will be going to the next two pages in this book. And I am so happy, honestly, to read this book to you guys. And I hope to see you all at the next Seven Club meeting. Super excited. Have a good week.